So I'm done with this view of my browser. Let's close out uh, my browser's view of the router. Returning back to Steve's benchmark and look for those values 67.15.193. Are they even on his list? I'm looking here to see if I can find 67.15.193. Anything. And um, no, that's interesting. Steve's list, Steve's uh, default list, doesn't know about the two domain name servers that I'm using with success. And um, because he doesn't know about them, he can't evaluate them to compare. I'm, it's interesting he doesn't know about those. Those um, two domain name servers uh, have been known to me and to be well performed, but are not on his basic list. They might be available to me just by virtue of my particular location and um, internet connection. Maybe they're not publicly available. That would explain why I know about them and he doesn't, and maybe why they're working so well for me. Now, because I'm getting such good performance, I am probably not going to make any changes to my domain name server setup as a result of this benchmark. But most people will want to make changes. I'm not making changes because I've been paying attention to this. But if you haven't, you will probably find that there are domain name servers toward the top of the list that perform much better than the ones you are using. So you want to look at your computers on your router, as I just did, and find out what domain name servers you are using and compare them with the performance that you're seeing on this list and choose one from the top of the list. Now, the list contains other information. You can sort the list by uh, various criteria. You can sort it numerically. That would be an easy way for me to verify. I'm looking for 67 dot something. No, there aren't any 67s or I can sort by fastest first. That's probably the, the best. You can also look at the name of the resolver and its owner and its status in terms of um, what Steve thinks about how it's performing. Also, its response time. A lot of valuable information here. For example, I find it quite interesting to look at the owner and the name of a resolver. If it has a questionable looking name or uh, owner, I don't want to use it. Let's see here some of these lists. Um, okay, these all look like respectable public names because Steve's list is full of respectable public names. But if you find a resolver that doesn't look like it uh, has a name you want to trust or from a business that you don't like, you'd want to stay away from it. Also, his tab on status says, um, this is what you want to find. DNS services are available and working. Um, bad domain names are intercepted by provider. This is something I see more and more often now. This is where if you put in a name that doesn't exist, instead of giving you a nice, meaningful error message, it'll send you to an advertisement for something it wants to sell you. Eh, I don't like that. And Steve kindly identifies that for you so you can avoid domain name servers like that if it troubles you as it does me. You want to find the servers you're using at the top of the list fastest and have it say for, for status, DNS services are available and working. And you want it to have a name and an owner that you're familiar with and that you trust. That's what I've got. That's what you should look for. If you don't have it now, then make changes to get it and you will like the results. Your internet connection will be faster and more trustworthy. Welcome to all of our YouTube viewers. If you are using YouTube to watch these clips, it can be difficult to find the next one in the proper sequence. Please come visit us at AskMrWizard.com, where we have the online technology magazine organized to make it really easy to find these in context, along with related text, images, and discussions.